Hi everyone, welcome to another Lightworks 14 tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at a technique that I used in a recent video of mine where I split a video clip and inserted a picture. So, it's pretty simple and we'll jump straight into it. So I have my the exact clip I was working on here. This is a workshop draw restoration video. It's a non-speaking video and the results of these drawers getting restored was amazing, but yeah, I wanted to add in a split and a picture. This little sticker up in the drawer on the top right corner there has a label on the front of it, and you can't read it in this clip, but I have a still image showing what is exactly on there, which depicts the age of the drawers. So, I wanted to add in a clip way over here. That's me, by the way, working in here. We're getting close. So I start pointing out there. Well, let's press play. Must be getting close. There we go. So I point out that label there. That's what I want to highlight. What's in there? So I can add in a split around here. We've got a nice clean number. 426 and nothing. So first up I want to create a split in this video clip right here, like that. Bang. And that has split it into two clips. Then I want to add in my picture that I want to insert. I haven't added it into the timeline yet because I wanted to show you what I wanted to install. Import. So this is the picture here. So I want to right click that. And we have a bunch of options here. Stills duration is the one that we're looking for. I don't want to turn on image sequences or anything like that. If I had a series of images that I wanted to do a time lapse or anything. Stills duration. And it's already set to three seconds, but we've got a range of options here. So you get anything from one second up to 60 in various increments. But I want it for three seconds. So you can close that. And I can just select that picture and click import. And there we have it. So how do I import this? If I try and just drag it in and on, I get that. It doesn't work. Well, it's there, but you've got this overlap here. So we can undo that. But if I hold down shift and drag it in, bang, that's what I wanted. I wanted a cut in the timeline and I wanted that gap in the audio track to suit. Perfect. So that is a nice, clean, easy way of inserting a still picture into the video timeline. So let's see what happens. And then it continues on playing the track. So as you can see here, I wanted to show this label on the drawer, 1974 to 1975. This is how long these drawers have been kicking around and being abused. And we gave them a new lease of life. Worth checking out that video, by the way. Anyway, I thought I'd just show this quick, simple trick. And I hope you find it helpful. And if you like that, click the like button. If you want to see more tutorials, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See ya.